Hey everybody, I want to show you a quick tip how to fix your iPad if it's not charging anymore or let's say your cable is not fully connecting and it's going on and off when you're trying to charge it. Uh, it could be a port but not necessarily. It's a similar t trick as with uh, phones. Uh, your port basically might be clogged up so the cable is not going in all the way. So there's two ways, two steps you can do. First, uh, turn off your iPad as you're going to be messing with the port. So we're gonna shut it down. All right, once your iPad is off, preferably get something wooden, like a wooden toothpick. If you don't have it, you can use a um, pen, a paper clip. Just be careful with the electronics in there. One side, which is the bottom, it has, I can show you guys, it has the metal prongs that your lightning cable connects to. That's what's charging the iPad. And that might be the connection that's not clicking in all the way. So you wanna gently get your toothpick in there and get out any possible lint. iPads usually don't have as much as an iPhone would as it doesn't sit in your pocket, but there could still be some gunk and dirt in there that basically got caught. So preventing your cable from going in all the way. Once you do that, you can test it out, see if it's charging, right? Let's say it's still loose. You put the cable in, it charges, it doesn't, you know, it keeps moving. Uh, you don't know what the heck is going on. If that happens, we need to make this space just a little tighter. So all you're gonna do is get yourself some electrical tape. And I recommend getting actually the cheaper kind, which is a stiffer tape. It's not as soft and pliable as the fancy 3M brands that Home Depot sells. This is a commercial electric. Home Depot sells them, I think, at 50 cents a piece. You can also find something like this in Walmart. Basically, it's just a stiffer tape. So I'm going to cut a piece to fit into that port on the wall that doesn't have the metal connectors. So it's going to be about a quarter inch wide. about half an inch long. So remember, the dead space with no connectors is the one facing the screen. The metal prongs are on the bottom. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna get this in all the way to the bottom. Take your toothpick, push it against the wall. Make sure it gets good adhesion. I'm gonna move it to the front. I'm going to cut up the excess, overlap it here a little bit. The cool thing is when you put your case back on, it's going to hold it all in place. And now you have a tight fit. So let's say your cable was, was loose before. Now you have a nice snug fit that's going to be charging your iPad. And I turned on because I put the cable on. All right. But now it's charging. No problem. Nice tight fit. Um, and that's it. Some people use crazy glue, some people use scotch tape, whatever. I found electrical tape just to be the safest. It is, it is electrical tape. It's meant to deal with electricity. So it's not going to conduct anything. And you have a snug fit. Let's say this doesn't work. It could be your battery or it could be the charging port that you have to replace. So we might do a video on that. Not on this iPad as this is the newer one. Uh, but before you do any of that, inspect your cable. Make sure your cable is all good. Inspect your battery pack. Make sure this is good. Test it with another device, you know? Uh, I mean, your power pack. If these things work, then move on to the next steps. Uh, same idea would be with uh, iPhones. Same exact idea. Even Samsung phones. Check for the lint first, uh, the toothpick idea. And from there, go to here. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know, guys. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and check me out for more videos.